So we're back on the topic of direct to navigation, as you might have uh, guessed by now that probably more to it. And, and there certainly is, although it's so seemingly simple. Um, one of the issues that you're looking at is, uh, like in this case, we're going uh, direct to, uh, from, from Van Nuys to uh, our next waypoint, Santa Paula Airport. There is no real checking, uh, system checking of, of altitudes, mountains in the way, any obstacles, airspace, none of that. That's really all up to you. The, uh, the system doesn't perform any of those, those, uh, those functions for you at that point. Um, but uh, and when you bring up the direct to window, and we're currently navigating to Santa Paula, we can now opt to add uh, a certain altitude uh, that, that we might uh, want the airplane to be at uh, uh, towards that waypoint. Um, say we want it to be at 900 feet, uh, some, uh, let's say, three miles, four miles prior to the airport. Uh, we, when we activate this, um, the system calculates the top of descent, the descent point, uh, that will then um, get us uh, to that um, that specific point for four miles prior to the waypoint. That altitude, given a certain flight path angle, which you can set elsewhere. Um, and uh, once you have that uh, flight path angle set, that then also gives you the foot per minute descent rate, and we'll cover that uh, in another session.